All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about combinations and uh, how we can solve these. Now, these are the three ways we represent combinations symbolically, and we'll talk about the formula and what the N and R stand for, but it's really better to just dive into a problem when this is all brand new to you. So this top problem and the bottom problem are related. The top problem says we want to choose a president and a vice president from three people. How many ways can we do that? The bottom problem says we want to choose two committee members from three people. How many ways can we do that? Well, in this top one, this is a permutation. And I've already made a video on that. If you don't know what permutation is, I would go watch permutation first. Here, the order matters. Order is important. If we're talking about two committee members, which we are, have in this case, order is not important. And that's how we know we have a, co a combination. So go ahead and pause the video. See if you can solve this problem. How many ways can we choose two committee members from three people? All right, if you're back with me, what I would do is I would list the people out. And I'm going to be real simple and just list them as A, B, and C. Now, to choose, whoops, went a little too far. To choose two people out of that, two committee members, we could have A and B. We could have A and C. Uh, we could have B and C. Okay, and those are the only three possibilities we have. Now, if this were a permutation and we we're talking about president and vice president, we would have also have included B, A, C, A, and CB. But a combination is a permutation where we divide out the repeaters. So notice how that's repeated, AB is repeated twice. So if you did this, if you think of it in terms of bins and a permutation, uh, whoops, <laughs> so we don't have three things to choose, we only have two. So your first person for this first committee member, we have three to choose from. And then the second committee member, we'd only have two to choose from. And you could use fundamental counting theorem, and you get six, which is all six of these, the permutation where order matters. But we're going to have to divide out the repeaters. So we're going to have to divide out that whole column where it's repeated twice. So we're going to divide by two. So our answer is three. So a combination is a permutation where you just divide out the repeating ones. So let's take a look at a committee of three people. So a committee of three people must be chosen from ten people. How many ways can that be done? So again, pause the video, and if you get it wrong, it's really no big deal. Well, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. But hit, hit pause and give the problem a try. So to do this one, again, I would look at it in terms of bins. We have three people. We have uh, three committee members. And there's ten ways to choose the first committee member. Nine ways to choose the second committee member. And eight ways to choose the third committee member. So if this were a permutation, it would be ten times nine times eight which in our case is 90 times 8, which is 720. Problem is, we have to divide that by how many ways you can rearrange these three things. So uh, what you could do is list out three things and just figure out how many different ways you can rearrange that. Well, there's six. There's AB, BA, uh, BC, CB, and there's AC and CA. So there's all six ways to rearrange three things. So we would know we divide this by six. So there's 120 ways to choose three committee members from ten people because order didn't matter here. And we div we've made sure we didn't count anything twice. We eliminated all, all of the groups of six where we've counted them, counted them twice. So that's the thing about uh, combination. 
So let's take a look at what the formula is. So the formula is the permutation formula. So I, I always like this one where it's NCR. So it's N factorial divided by N minus R factorial, but also divided by your repeaters, which is R factorial. So you divide out all the repeaters with that second R factorial. So that's the formula. So let's take a look at this formula in use. So it would be 10 choose R was, or 10 choose 3 was the former problem we had, the problem we just had. So if you take a look at that, that would be 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial over 3 factorial. And so if you do this, that's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 10 minus 3 is 7 factorial. So that would be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we're multiplying all those in the factorial. And then 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is the 6 I divided out. So when you simplify this, 7 and 7, 6 and 6, 5 and 5, 4 and 4, 3 and 3, 2 and 2, and obviously 1 and 1. But you also have this 6 here that you can also simplify. So 3 and 9 is 3 remaining, 2 and 8 is 4 remaining, so 10 times 3 is 30 times 4 is 120. And so that's how you could do that by hand with the formula. Again, I don't, I wouldn't advise using the formula if combination is new to you. What you should do is try it and just see if you can logic it out. And then the other thing you can do is plug these into calculators. So here's a TI Inspire calculator. And uh, you just hit menu, go to the probability feature. Oops, excuse me and then go to combinations instead of permutations. It pulls it up and then you just hit 10, choose three. Hit enter and it gives you 120. Also, if you don't have a TI Inspire or some fancy calculator like that, you can just plug it in to, this is the Web 2.0 calculator, which is really a nice one. So you just hit uh, NCR here. So I'm gonna hit NCR. And we're going to choose 10. It just works the exact same. 10, comma, 2. Close your parentheses. What's really nice, or 10, choose 3. Shoot. Okay, so what's really nice is it gives you the combinations formula up here. Shows you what it's doing. Hit enter, 120. So that's, that's what you can do. And... I hope this helps you kind of understand combinations and best of luck on this. See you next time.